Welcome to Studio Lite. In this quick tutorial, we're going to teach you how to get up and running with Studio Lite so you can easily build your digital signage presentation. So the first thing we'll do is we'll go ahead and create a new campaign. We'll click on the new campaign wizard and name our campaign. Just keep it as default. Click on next and select the orientation of our screen. So we'll go ahead and select an horizontal configuration and select the resolution of our screen. We'll select high definition of 1920 by 1080 and select how our screen is going to be laid out. So we'll select kind of a standard layout right here. And At this point we've created our first campaign. If we go back we can see that we have our first campaign ready which is called My Campaign. So here we can see our screen layout. We have three screen divisions and each division has a channel that corresponds to it. So channel 1 would be this division, channel 2 would be this, and channel 3 would be this right here on the bottom. So now we just need to add content to each particular screen division. If we select channel 1 and click on add content, we'll go ahead and select a media RSS which is a podcast of videos that change every day. This will be just NBC Business in this case. And go ahead and change the background maybe just a darker gray. And for channel 2, which is again this screen division over here, we'll go ahead and add a clock, change the fonts to be bigger, 50 or so, and for the background we'll go ahead and select just the white. And for channel 3, we'll go ahead and add some RSS ticker on the bottom that will move. And for the properties, again, make the fonts bigger, maybe around 80. And for the background color, we'll also select this to be white. So here we built a pretty simple presentation of three channels. And let's go ahead and preview this. So click on Preview Timeline. Okay, so that worked out pretty well. A pretty simple presentation with a video, an RSS ticker on the bottom, and a clock. Now let's say we want to add some content like videos or images that we upload onto the system. So for this, we'll switch over to Resources, select Search for Files, a fly.png, which is an image, an RC3D, which is a video, MP4, and click on Save to upload these files onto our server. Next, we'll switch back to our campaign. Select the particular channel we want, so in this case we're going to select channel 1 and click on Add Content. We're going to go this time to Resources instead of Components and select our RC3D video. And notice that it's going to come and play after the Media RSS. In order for me to change that, all I have to do is simply over here select RC3D and drag and drop it to change the order. So now the video is going to come and play before the Media RSS. You'll notice also that it has the aspect ratio on right now, but I actually want this particular video to occupy the full width and height of my screen division, so I'm going to take this off. And also, I know the video is much longer than 10 seconds, so I'm going to extend the length of the video. So it's going to actually play for 30 seconds. And after that 30 seconds are over, it's going to switch over to my media RSS. So I can add multiple things or multiple resources, components or scenes or pretty much anything I want onto each channel and I can change the order of the playback of each channel as well as the length. Next, I'm going to want to add my image, Fly PNG, just before the clock. So I'm going to go ahead and select channel 2. I'll click on Add Content like before, select my image. And you can see that it's coming right after the clock, so I have the clock and then I have my image. But again, like before, I want to change the order, so I'll drag and drop. And now the image will come before the clock. And so now let's go ahead and preview our timeline. Click on this button right here, Preview Timeline. Everything gets saved to our server. And here is our presentation. We have the video with the helicopter playing. We have our image to the right. And we have the RSS ticker on the bottom. And you can see that the clock now kicked in after 10 seconds and now the image is gone and we can see the time. So this was pretty painless. We were able to simply build a presentation by adding resources and components and assign the content to each particular screen division. At this point all you have to do is simply decide which signage player you want to go with if you go to the install section of the application. Now as you can see you have different options when it comes to the signage player. You can order the device from us. This is actually what we recommend. Our device is optimized for our software. You simply register it with your username, in this case d93 at ms.com, which is my username, of course, your username would be different, and your password. And as soon as you register your player, it will pop up over here under stations, and then you will have full remote control over it. You can select it, 
you can do live snapshots you can do stop play change campaigns so it's very easy to manage your player directly from the stations section of the application of course we have other players as well we have signage player for android which you can order directly from the google play store for windows for mac and so on if you do find you have more questions we have additional help right here and additional video tutorials under the help section of the application i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and thanks for watching